สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the third part of Thailand. Have you noticed that some aspects of Thai culture and customs are very similar to the ethnic Thai in China? They have many similar elements, such as elephants, Theravada Buddhism, golden temples, and so on. Is it coincidence, or are there deep historical ties between the two countries? Well, in this session, we will take a look at the relationship between Thailand and China from the perspective of culture and language, Chinese ties in Thailand, and the exchanges between the two countries. Firstly, let's talk about Thai people and Thai. Many people believe that the Thais and the Thai ethnic group in China have indisputably common origins. Because the two ethnic groups have similar customs, languages, and religious beliefs, the Thai are closely related to both the Lao and Thai peoples, having a closely intertwined history and a relatively close geographical position. The vast majority of China's Thai live in the Xishuangbanna Thai Autonomous Prefecture in the extreme south of Yunnan Province. The prefecture borders Myanmar to the southwest and Laos to the southeast. With Thai culture dominating in Xishuangbanna, visitors to the region will feel much more like they have landed in Southeast Asia than in China. The most representative cultural similarity is the Water Splashing Festival. Many Thai in China celebrate the Water Splashing Festival. During their New Year, it is also widely celebrated in Thailand, where it goes by the name Songgan Festival. Although they are called differently, both names are derived from the ancient Indian Sanskrit language, and both festivals begin on April 13th and end on April 15th. The dates are chosen to honor the birthday of the Buddha and mark the beginning of the Buddhist New Year. Buddha images are bathed and cleaned. Younger Thais show respect to monks and elders by sprinkling water over their hands. The greatest cultural identity between the Thai people in Xishuangbanna and the religious culture in Thailand is that they share the same Buddhist faith. Both Thai and Thai culture are heavily influenced by Theravada Buddhism. The Thai nationality and the Thai nationality in Thailand belong to the same group of Thai nationality. Men of both the Thai and Thai people are required to become monks once in their life. This highly representative religious and cultural custom has been retained to this day. The writings of the two nationalities both evolved from the ancient Indian Sanskrit alphabet. The Thai script written by the Thai people and the Thai script written by the Thai people should continue to be written from left to right, and there is no punctuation in the writing process. Although they have two different glyphs, they do belong to the same language family. Secondly, Thai Chinese. Do you know that Thailand is home to the largest, oldest? Most well integrated and prominent overseas Chinese community in the world, with a population of approximately 9.4 million people, accounting for 14% of Thailand, the Thai Chinese have been deeply ingrained into all elements of Thai society for the past 400 years. The founding emperor of Thailand, Zheng Xin, was half Chinese. And his father was from Guangdong. The Wat Alun, one of Bangkok's most important landmarks, is a temple dedicated to Zhengxin. Thai Chinese play a major role in the business, commerce, and finance sector, and are well represented in the Thai political scene as well. The present Thai royal family, the Jackli Dynasty, was founded by King Rama I, who himself was partly Chinese. The former Prime Minister of Thailand, Jack Singh, was born in Chiang Mai Province, and he is a fourth-generation Thai Chinese. Believe it or not, 
Most prime ministers were at least of partial Chinese origin. They have Chinese ancestry, including Inlak and Abist. Thirdly, let's find out why a Thai princess said that China and Thailand are true friends. In November 15, 2021, Thailand won the recommended travel destination of the year award at the 2021 City Travel Hotel Awards organized by the Chinese magazine City Travel. This shows that Thailand is indeed the most popular destination for Chinese tourists. In addition to non-governmental tourism exchanges, the Thai royal family is also very fond of China, and there are frequent exchanges between the two governments. Princess Maha Jackli Salientong of Thailand is very prestigious in her own country, but also enjoys a good reputation in China. Since her first visit 28 years ago. She has continued to visit China nearly every year. Her footprint can be found in a large area of China, ranging from Beijing to Tibet, from eastern coastal areas to the northwestern interior. Having been dedicated to introducing Chinese history and culture to Thai people, Princess Salentong has contributed a great deal to the promotion of cultural exchanges and friendship between the two nations. She loves China and Chinese culture very much. When she was very young, she began to study Chinese history and literature. During her time spent learning Chinese in China, she translated many works written by Chinese writers, which greatly helped Thai readers learn about China's politics and society. Besides, she also strongly supports the establishment of Confucius Institutes. The Confucius Institute in Sinatian Vilo University, which opened on March 26, 2007, is the first Confucius Institute jointly established and managed by China and Thailand, which embodied the prince's high expectations. Since then, the cooperation between the two countries in setting up Confucius Institutes and classrooms. Have undergone a smooth and fast development. Up to now, the number of Confucius Institutes and classrooms in Thailand is higher than any other foreign country. Thousands of volunteers from China head for Thailand each year to teach Chinese language. Princess Lentong is a worthy envoy of China-Thailand friendship. In recognition of her contribution in spreading Chinese culture. She was awarded the Chinese Language and Culture Friendship Award by China's Ministry of Education. In 2019, she was awarded the Medal of Friendship by the People's Republic of China, which is the highest medal offered to foreigners by China. As she says, her visits to China are so frequent that it's like visiting relatives. China and Thailand are true friends. Distance cannot separate true friends, who remain close even when thousands of miles apart. Finally, the China-Thailand railway is currently under construction. Once complete, the line will connect with the China-Laos railway, linking China, Laos, and Thailand. Both passengers and freight trains will run on the line. And in the future, we will be able to take the train from China all the way to Thailand. Okay, through the study of this lesson, I hope that you have now know more about the similarities between Thai culture and Chinese culture, and have further understanding of the cultural exchanges between the two countries. See you next time.